what is the limit as x approaches infinity of this expression and with problems like this notice we have an x squared in the numerator and an x squared in the denominator and since that is the highest power of x what we can do is multiply the top and bottom by 1 divided by x squared or another way to think about it is dividing the top and bottom by x squared and we do this so that we get the limit as x approaches infinity of, let's first distribute this to the numerator and 2x squared times 1 over x squared the x squareds cancel and we're left with 2 and then we have minus 3 times this which I'll write as 3 over x squared and that would be our numerator and our denominator will have 3 times this which is just 3 over x squared then plus 2x over x squared one of the x's will cancel from the top and bottom and we'll be left with 2 divided by x and now we have minus 4x squared times 1 over x squared the x squareds cancel and we're left with minus 4 and now we can actually evaluate this limit since as x approaches infinity let's look at all of the fractions with x in the denominator so as x gets bigger and bigger the numerator stays the same so our fraction becomes closer and closer to zero and as x goes all the way to infinity each of these will be zero so we'll be left with 2 minus 0 I'll write this minus 4 first plus this term becomes 0 and this 2 over x becomes 0 so we're left with 2 over 4 which is minus 1 half and minus 1 half is the answer to our limit and another way to think about this problem a more intuitive way to look at this is to think that as x gets bigger and bigger essentially the only terms in the top and bottom that are going to matter are the x squared terms since if you think about putting in bigger and bigger x values this square is going to make the numbers huge much faster than just this x to the first power or these constant terms so say you put in a million and then you square that and a million times a million is a trillion and then you're adding two million to that and two million more than a trillion doesn't really change the number so in the end the only thing that really matters like I said is these squares and so as x gets bigger and bigger whatever you put in here will essentially cancel out with whatever you put in here so you're left with just comparing these coefficients. Since using my example of putting a million in here, you'd have a trillion and you'd have a trillion here. Two trillion divided by minus four trillion is just two over negative four or minus one half. 